Okay then gang, so now we're handling user registration and we're logging the user in and out. But as of yet, it's not really affecting the experience of a user on the website. I mean, right now, I don't even know whether I'm logged in or out of the application. There's nothing here telling me that. And there's no pages being protected from people not logged in either. So in this lesson, we're going to look at how we can access the currently authenticated user. And we're going to show that information about that user in the browser. For example, we could grab the name and we could display it in the nav bar up here. And again, we can do this really easily by using the auth facade we've been using over the last few lessons. So how do we do this then? And where do we do this? Well, we're going to output the user's name, which they entered when they registered in the nav bar. So we need to head to the layout file to update that. Now, I said a moment ago that we'll be using the same authorsard that we've been using over the last few lessons to access the current user. But right now we're in a blade template. And before when we used it, we were inside the auth controller file. But that's okay because Laravel gives us access to facades like the auth facade inside blade template files. So we could just add a span tag right here with a couple of tailwind classes. And that's going to be border right two and also padding right two. And then inside that span, we could say, hi there, and a comma. And then we want to dynamically output a value, the user's name, right? So we'd use curly braces. And then we can use the auth class. And on that, we can use a method to grab the currently authenticated user called user. Now, on this user, we can access the different user properties, like the name and the email. So let's use the name property to access the name of that user. And that's pretty much it. Now we can try this out. But before we do, I want to make one thing clear. If you're not currently logged into the application, then this is going to cause an error in the browser because we're then trying to output the name of a user who isn't authenticated. So I know I am currently logged in, so this will work for me. All right, so look at that. I can see, hi there, Yoshi up here. So that has worked. But notice, if I log out, this is going to cause an error, like I just mentioned. So log out. And yep, now we get an internal server error. And it says, attempt to read property name on null. So we're trying to access the name of the current user, but because the current user isn't authenticated, then that value is null. So yep, this is why we're getting the error. So the reason we're getting that error is because in the nav bar, we're trying to access the name property of the current user. But when we log out, that current user is null. And then we're trying to access the name property on that null value, which causes the error. So ideally, we only want to show the user's name when we know that that user is authenticated. And we can do that really easily by using a blade directive called at auth. So before we use that, let's just have a think about which elements in the navbar should only really be shown to a user when they're logged in or authenticated. We know the username is one of them, right? But also, we only really need to show the logout form to users who are logged in as well. And also, I eventually want to make it so that only authenticated users can create new ninjas. So it makes sense then that the create link only gets showed to authenticated users as well. So let's just restructure this navbar a little bit to group those things together. And we'll do that by cutting the create link from up there and pasting it down here above the logout form. Okay, so now they're all grouped together, we can use that special auth directive to wrap all of these elements. So I'm gonna say up here, at auth, and then down below the form, I'll close that by saying at end auth. And also I'm just gonna indent all this content inside that a little bit, just for readability. Okay, so this directive now only shows any content nested within it when the user is authenticated or logged in. So now, since we're never going to be showing this username to people who aren't authenticated, then we shouldn't ever really get an error when we're logged out because we won't show it then. Cool, so we'll preview that in a moment. But first of all, I want to just wrap the other two links in the navbar with a different directive. And that directive is called at guest. And this does exactly the opposite, really, of the auth one. It only shows content to guests or unauthenticated users. So let's come up here above the login link and we're going to use that guest directive. And then we're going to close it by saying end guest down here below the register link. And I'm just going to indent those two links as well. All right. So now when we are an unauthenticated guest, we should only see those two links, right? The login one and the register one. That makes sense as well. And when we're logged in, we're authenticated. We should only see these items down here, the welcome message, the create link, and the logout button. So let's try this out in a browser. 
All right, so I only see these two things, so clearly I am not authenticated. I'm going to try logging in, this time as Mario at netninja.dev. The password is PW123456. I'm going to log in. Hopefully, we'll see a change up here. And yeah, we do. Now it says, hi there, Mario. And then we see the create link and the logout button. All right, awesome. So if I log out, before there was an error, hopefully now we'll just revert back to the other two buttons. Log out and yeah, awesome.